on our way on another adventure, but this adventure doesn't include hog. This is the beginning of a baseball adventure. So we are on our way to the Amtrak station to catch the train to go to Chicago to one of the oldest cathedrals in Major League Baseball to see the Red Sox and the Cubs play. Chicago, which is beautiful, and massive, so cool. I'm going to introduce you to our fellow travelers today. So traveling with us today, we have David's sister Denise and her boyfriend Derek, who invited us to come along to this Cubs Red Sox game. It's the Red Sox game. For me, it's the Red Sox game. He's a Cardinal fan. David is a Cubs fan. Denise is a neutral fan. I like all three of them. She likes them all, so she's going to have the best day probably. State and Division on our way to Wrigley and it is so cool. I love it. And I see this John Lester shirt behind me who played for the Cubs of course but he was a Red Sox pitcher for many years and he was one of my favorites. In fact we saw him pitch his last game for the Red Sox at Fenway um, years ago with my kids. sunrise. Here is Abe himself. We're getting ready to fly to Boston. My daughter's with me instead of David this time over and out. <laughs> it to O'Hare and it is super crowded. Um, of course it is the 4th of July so it, it's no wonder that it's crowded. It doesn't look very crowded right now but man when we walked through here it was really really bad. We made it to Boston and we are going to get Maddie something to eat. 
very excited to be here for the 4th of July festivities, but that's not the main reason why we came. We are sitting in the Quincy Market Finial Hall area. We'll have some fish and chips at this restaurant called Ned Devine's Irish Pub, which to my family, Ned Devine is a big deal because Waking Ned Devine was one of our favorite movies when my stepdaughter was growing up. And we are watching the Red Sox on the big screen for now. Good morning. It is day two of our Boston baseball experience and we stayed in the club quarters right by the state house last night. Excellent location for us because we wanted to walk around and hop the tea if we want to. I want to show you something really cool at this um, hotel right behind me. So they have these empty water bottles that you can just take in the hallway and fill up, refill, rehydrate, reuse. I think this is the coolest thing. In the background behind me is the old South Meeting House. One of the things that happened there was uh, Benjamin Franklin was baptized there. This isn't a history trip for us, this is a baseball trip. We've actually been to Boston quite a few times and done a lot of the history, although there's so much that you could do. But one of the things that I really love about Boston is all the history. If you can hear me, this building in the background is one of the oldest buildings, I think, in Boston, an old publishing house. To a different hotel now so that we're closer to Fenway Park and this is really cool I'm excited about it we can see Fenway way back over there in the corner
evening. We are, Maddie and I are walking around um, Fenway Park. We walked from the hotel down here and we are going to just shop. I need a new hat. Maddie wants to look at Red Sox clothing and items and then we're getting some lunch at Italy. Cheeses, olives, breads, maybe wine, and we're going to take it to the river and have a picnic. They're doing all kinds of construction around here, so it's really noisy. So that's the plan today. Over and out. Boston adventure and we are getting ready to leave. We love Fenway, of course. It's historic and uh, home of the Boston Red Sox. Fenway was awesome. I wish the Red Sox would have done a little bit better, but we have had a fantastic trip. We've been before, but this time the experience was relaxing and fun. For our friends, the Tampa Bay Ray friends that were with us, we were really glad that their team did well. Um, anyway, Fenway Park, Wrigley Field. They are the historic baseball fields in our country and we love it, the whole experience. Parker House, which the table that Maddie was standing by is the legendary table where JFK proposed to his young bride, Jackie. Oh, going this way.
quite a few other things happened at this historic hotel, and it's really interesting to see um, and be around history. Smile, Maddie. 